Here, here, here. He just smelled something. 2008, I was a junior in college. He was with me 24-7. Trained him like a little robot. Come on. And he is just double dog obsessed. You know, everybody has that dog. Everybody knows of a once in a lifetime dog um, that changed their life. His desire to please his owner. You know, he knows I like him to retrieve a duck. And I wanted to build something with as much passion as he has for retrieving ducks. Come here, buddy. Here. Here. Atta boy. Thank you. Heal. Shit, there he is. Hunt him up. He's dead. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Hey, good boy. Drop him. Nice. He picked up a lot of birds. Back in the day, he was hunting every single day. Thank you, good boy. In college in Oxford, Mississippi at Ole Miss, we were a go-to call. If somebody was going hunting the next day, they'd call us because they knew, you know, Gunner would retrieve all the ducks and we wouldn't have to go walking through water and falling in frozen water and just be the amateurs that we are. The Gunner has changed the course of my life. He's the reason why I met my wife. Uh, I wouldn't have my wife and three daughters without him. He was a puppy. I just got back from the duck camp. These girls came up and started talking to me about Gunner. One of them I became good friends with, and she kept saying, I've got this girl. I know you're going to marry her one day. I would take him hunting every day. I would take him to train during the off season, but I just had a, a cheap plastic crate, and I never felt comfortable putting him there because it would wobble around, or I knew if we were to get in a wreck, you know, that crate would shatter. I always thought to myself, somebody needs to make the best plastic travel crate out there. In order to be the best, you gotta be the safest, and then just make it better for, I just wanted it better for myself. Nobody plans on getting a wreck, but it happens. I know after watching our crash test, he's got the best chance of survival if I was to get a wreck. I think at best I'm a weekend warrior right now. At one point in time when there was just Gunner and I hunting every day or every other day, you know, we could get after him pretty, pretty good. I knew I loved to hunt, I always loved to do it, but once I got Gunner, watching him retrieve was a different level of enjoying being in the outdoors. Oh, I had a boy. Thank you, People say, what's your favorite thing to hunt? It's whatever Gunner can come with me. My dog would be dead without your kennel. Um, I was in a terrible accident. The whole vehicle was crushed or the vehicle rolled over or I was rear-ended at, at when I was dead stop. Thankfully, also, they all said the dog was great. When I set out to make the best kennel, I never realized we might actually save some dogs' lives. So I'm not trying to bash anybody, but you look at all these dog products out there and it's, most of it's junk. I'm not gonna sacrifice quality for, for profit. If people truly love their dog like I love my dog, they will appreciate the fact that you're not cutting any corners. Looking back, it lined up so well. What are your passions, Addison? Well, I love my dog. I love to be outdoors. I'd love to try to figure my own deal out and own my own company or start my own company. I told Emily about it, and she 
instantly said this is gonna work. Everybody has a once in a lifetime dog. You know, they're like your kids almost. So just the love and joy that dogs bring you and, and, and you give them is just a, a really, uh, really unique thing. It was just him and I, we were hunting all the time. And then all of a sudden, I've got this family that, <laughs> you know, all of a sudden we got this family that, <laughs> I can able to get through this.